As the country prepares to honor the sacrifice of our troops on Remembrance Day, a tribute tonight to the wartime service of a marginalized group that has often been underrecognized. Around 1,300 black Canadian soldiers enlisted in the First World War and several thousand more in the second. A critical part of Canadian military history. One Ontario researcher has spent nearly two decades dedicated to preserving. This is my dad here. For historian Kathy Grant, each day reflects not only a professional, but a personal mission. My dad was a Second World War veteran who volunteered to fight for Canada um, from the island of Barbados. When her father, Owen Rowe, died of pancreatic cancer in 2005, she made a promise. Before he passed away, he said, Kathy, I want you to continue the legacy of documenting and preserving the stories of our soldiers. A passion project that over 18 years has turned into legacy voices and a platform to honor black Canadian veterans. More and more individuals are interested in hearing our story. Stories like those of 101-year-old Alvy Burden, one of the country's last surviving black Second World War vets. They told me to take these two Sherman tanks and to the front line. I was riding the motorbike, eh? And the bomb came over and shot me off the bike, and I was in the hospital for a month. Burden was asked to take part in chemical experiments in Alberta. They come over with a plane and spray that mustard gas, and your sheep are standing beside you. The sheep died, and you lived because <laughs> you had a gas mask. I lost my voice for, oh, heck, a month. First-hand accounts that need to be preserved and shared along with painful memories of discrimination. Grant is reminded of it every time she looks at this blatantly racist poster she got from the family of another veteran. When he went to Quebec as part of training. He saw that poster and he's there saying, here it is, I'm here prepared to give my life and look at what they are representing us as. So he took down the poster. Grant is also committed to sharing the history of the number two construction battalion, Canada's first and only segregated all-black military unit created during the First World War. The coin is something that inspires me. Um, I can touch it, I can feel it. Her mission has since expanded to museums, schools, and more online platforms. Getting uh, the children involved and social media and digitization is what's going to continue to inspire kids today. A shared mission she knows her late father would be proud of. Say, say thank you. Thank you for continuing the legacy.